Generative AI is selling like hotcakes. To join the bandwagon, JetBrains, which is a developer company which creates different IDEs for a lot of different platforms like IntelliJ, PyCharm, C++, .NET, and it's pretty much the most popular paid development environment. Um, I personally use it a lot. There's Community Edition, there's Paid Edition. They have released an AI assistant very similar to ChatGPT. We're going to take a look at how it performs and how to get it in this video. So here's a quick article that talks about the features for uh, the AI assistant. It's basically very recent. They have released it, I think, a um, few weeks back, uh, somewhere around June. And it's still in pre-release. It's still as an alpha or probably a beta product. And it's not bundled with the stable versions of the software. So you will have to either install it separately or get a pre-release version of your IntelliJ IDE. So EAP stands for Early Access Program. So uh, it basically specifies that the EAP builds for all IntelliJ IDEs and .NET tools will include the new AI assistant. Let's just take a quick look at some of the features and we'll get into the you know, real workings of it. So it has AI features, live chat and uh, Basically, it, it's powered by an LLM, large language model, as you know, most of you would know. And uh, you can chat with it interactively and it will generate you the code given uh, the settings of the conversation. There's a good amount of document generation. You can actually uh, call up the AI action menu by doing some sort of a slash and uh, you can suggest the documentation like you can see in this. So it will generate all the documentation, which is really good and it's supported for Java, Kotlin and Python right now. Uh, there can be name suggestions, so it's not just working as a side chatbot. You can also have it to, you know, suggest variable names and uh, declaration names and stuff like that. You can use it to generate commit messages. So IntelliJ has really thought it through instead of just giving a chatbot, they have, uh, you know, really incorporated the product into the IDE. So the commit message generation, I think, is a very powerful feature because It'll, it's kind of tracking what you have developed and then generate capturing that and generating some description for it which can be very useful for git messages and uh, you know some of the features are diff might differ across different products this tons of ids as i mentioned you know golang uh, intellij php storm pycharm reshaper uh, etc etc so that's what uh, you know the documentation says and uh, we are going to just jump over to pycharm and take a look at it so as you hop on to PyCharm, uh, you get something like this as an AI assistant. But just to, uh, you know, make sure I talk about how you get it. You can either go to settings and plugin or directly go to plugin. Uh, search for AI assistant. And uh, you probably want the one which is from JetBrains. There's a couple of other AI assistants too, like tab nine is a uh is a great ai code completion tool uh, i think i've used it in the past and there's there's a lot of different uh code suggestions recommendation plugin which are very popular tab 9 is very popular actually it has 2.5 million downloads uh i used it uh, for a while when it was free but now i think it requires some sort of a payments uh but this is the one that we want which has a plug kind of a symbol ai assistant and uh, you can disable it and install it for now i have uh, you know kept it basically gives you some screenshot and uh, just as a defining feature what it is and it again describes uh, what the plugin is so just hit install and you should be all set restart your ide and you'll get an assistant here one thing which i want to talk about is from a privacy perspective uh, you should i think there's a way to yeah Click on the AI assistant, click on three dots and go to settings. And uh, with AI assistant, you pretty much have only one uh, setting, one which is, uh, you know, you can enable the feature for AI generated name suggestions, which is fine. But from a privacy perspective, they, they do log the data. So if you are working in an enterprise setting, I am not. Uh, this is a personal laptop and uh, all of the code that I write is completely personal. So, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, I mostly have different get interaction so if you want to disable data collection you can go ahead and do that but i think they are calling it out that they are uh, capturing data as an you know, non they may log non-anonymous information 
so uh, i'll just turn it off because i prefer it to be uh, a bit more safe and i don't like my data going out although it's not that big of a thing here click ok and uh, you know start a new chat and let's see let's see what it does so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with something simple i have a code where uh let me just zoom in and show what this does so as you can see this code is relatively simple it's it's just downloading data from a data frame from yahoo finance and uh, it just takes a start date and end date so i'm gonna ask it uh, to describe what this code does and uh, let's see what it does uh, so the line of code uses the download function pretty good pretty correct uh, nice way of describing it it's going from left to right and uh, calling it out uh, nice pretty pretty good explanation i think this this is this is really helpful now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ask take the same uh description and generate python code for it and see if it generates something similar generate python code for this let's see what it does uh yeah so this is what i get from chat gpt also i've tried it multiple times this this looks good and correct let's go and do something more complex and uh, for example i'm gonna give it a trading strategy so it's it's it's, it's a long trading strategy uh and i think it's going it's doing good uh, the first thing was Bollinger Bands, and there are comments basis Bollinger Band mean reversion. It's this. It's is generating correct uh, description for it. Then it's talking of RSI zones, which is also correct, and uh, I think it's uh, it's matching the conditions also something like 70. Let's see what is the zone that I've described. I think RSI zones are uh, they are probably described somewhere, but are not too worried on it. Uh, divergence threshold uh, yes that's good uh, so it's it's pretty good uh, description generator uh, let let me see if i can ask it to generate some code uh, generate a machine learning based trading strategy this is very generic and it's very uh, open to interpretation i think chat gpt gives some multiple examples for this and let's see what they do or what they give and i think they are go doing good so good i think what they're doing is what what it's giving is uh sk learn model selection train test linear regression is just doing a linear regression which is fine uh, uh but the good part is i think what it has done nicely is it has taken three different lags which is nice from a regression perspective and uh, this, this is good and it's generating good so so it's quite interactive and uh, decent i would say uh, from a from a assistive development perspective so i think i i primarily hop on to uh, a lot of you know uh, chat gpt uh, and bard uh, to be able to generate some of these similar stuff but i can do this within the id window and uh, i think it's also aware of what's going on in my id so this is good uh, it also tracks the history of chat so for example i can do a completely new chat and here also it describes generate code from description explain and refactor uh generate tests uh, suggest a bug fix and stuff like that maybe what i'll do is i'll take this code and uh, i'll ask it to refactor this code let's see what it does and uh, this code using generate signals instead of scripting the iter turtle okay iterable methods okay so it has done some optimizations uh, uh expect it has done some optimizations and i think number of lines have reduced which is what it has done so good that's good i am yet to see if it uh, runs let's see what it does if i so i'll just go to an empty line and see this insert snippet at carrot ah nice so basically it, uh, this is this is good uh, so what it is doing is it is uh, taking my where my cursor is and just putting the code there which is which is kind of neat if you are uh, in a scenario where you have a lot of files and you want to 
like you're in the middle of your code and you want to insert this so this is a really good feature uh, I, I i think it's it's really nice uh what else can we try about this so let's ask it to how to write a aws lambda function in python and if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe i make regular tech videos on software architecture videos like this and talk about a lot about ai and data science from a you know system and software architecture perspective so uh, if you like those things please do check out my channel please do subscribe let's see what it has done this is good this is uh, also nice i think it has generated a simple almost empty land lambda function there's an event there's a context code uh is just dumping the event details return some status code this this is a good skeletal and good entry point uh, for a lambda it's not quite detailed but uh, you can probably let's say uh, add logic let's see if it understands the continuity of the chat add logic uh, to this lambda to receive data from uh, maybe yahoo finance yahoo finance api and store in a database and generate uh, maybe whatsapp notification i don't know if it can do that uh but uh yeah multiple stage process uh good i think it is capturing the yahoo finance api correctly sending the request inserting data into a database it said it has defaulted to rds which is quite nice uh oh wow it has added a twilio whatsapp or notification which is crazy wasn't expecting it to do that uh but this is quite good this is uh this is quite nice uh i would want to compare this against chat gpt but i think what this has would it has done is it has taken from twilio some uh the information like sids or token whatsapp message it's even generated data has been updated successfully generated a client captured the phone number return the success so this is a good lambda and i think with a little bit of tweaking this might actually work uh let's ask it how for fun how confident are you if this code will run uh hmm. i don't execute a code i can't definitely verify and provide confident okay i think it's giving a reasonable answer we have to give it benefit of the doubt so quite quite decent uh i really like this feature uh tell in the comments if you would like to use this uh if you would like to see more videos like this where i talk about new features from products please please uh talk that talk about that uh in the comment section and this is quite interesting i'm gonna use this uh for a lot of my future algo trading development in fact i was myself looking for how to integrate with whatsapp and for some reason twilio just did not come to my mind and you know this happens a lot when you you know when you're working you're in your zone you kind of uh, you know you're working on something and you're stuck in that logic you're trying to fix it and then you have other design goals you can actually keep track of tasks i think some of the features which i would like to see is maybe what we can do is track the to do's that i have from my code perspective here in the id itself so that i can just let's sit there and uh, the ai assistant can you know have access to the uh, to the i to the to do's and maybe provide an in initial boilerplate plate uh, feature recommendation or code recommendation which could be helpful basis you know my coding style and all i would also uh, love to see a personalization of the coding style because each developer codes it in a certain way uh, along with the recommendations of variable naming can it also understand my style and uh, help me improve my style uh, you know basically let's say i'm a new developer and could suggest me better methods to do the same thing if it can go to that degree of smartness it would be great so yeah those are my thoughts uh, around this interesting interesting feature uh, talk to you guys again thank you for watching this video if you have liked give a thumbs up if you have not you know 
probably just put in a dislike and put in a comment please as to what you have not liked in this video uh, this was a one off i was really excited about the f the feature every time i see generative ai these days i try to not do a video on it but this is one video which i couldn't uh, resist so bye bye uh, till next time